Bloody hell, it works. I've made a couple of tiny robot arms just for fun in the past, using these little radio-controlled servos, but now I want to build something bigger. I want a robot arm which can lift a camera and give me crazy tracking shots. But in order to do this, I'm going to need to use something more powerful to move the arm. This is a NEMA 17 motor, commonly used to control 3D printers. I've made a belt reduction gearbox for these in the past, which gave me a 9 to 1 reduction. But I still need about double that in order to lift a camera. So in this video, I'll be making a 20 to 1 reduction gearbox using a cycloidal drive. Cycloidal drives work by having a number of pins equally spaced around a circle. A cycloidal disc with one less tooth than the number of pins can then be engaged with these pins. If we roll the disc around the pins, you can see the disc itself will turn. In my last video, I explained how these work and wrote a simple Fusion 360 add-in to design cycloidal drives, and I've used this here to make a cycloid with 20 nodes and 21 pins around the outside. The base allows a stepper motor to be attached, and we also have a top casing with holes to accept 2020 aluminium extrusion. Let's build it up. We'll start by adding bearings to the pin casing and the motor carrier, and then popping them together. Then we can screw in the stepper motor. Next we can add the drive pins, eccentric cam, and fit the cycloid itself. Then we have a little top that goes on the eccentric cam that holds it all together and stops any wobble when it fits into a bearing in the top. At this point we can see if it works by back driving it. As you can see, the eccentric bearing spins really fast when the joints are moved. As if by magic our top parts have arrived, and we can fit them together in the same way as we did the pin casing and motor carrier. There are a load of screws that hold it all together, but I'll save you the pain of watching me put them in. Right, that's all the screws in and I've hooked it up to an Arduino which is programmed to move it back and forth. While I was doing the screws, I took the opportunity to coat all the moving surfaces in this lovely PTFE grease to reduce friction. As you can see, it runs nice and smoothly and there is minimal vibration. Now it's common practice to have multiple cycloids in one of these drives to minimise vibration. But our stepper motor doesn't spin very fast so we can get away with just the one. We can connect some 2020 extrusion into the holes in the gearbox using M4 screws and T-nuts. The extrusion slides in and we lock it in place. Now we've added a box 30 centimeters from the pivot point and we can test the torque by adding weights and seeing if the arm moves. Here we're testing 500 grams, 800 grams, one kilogram, one point three kilos, One point five kilos, one point six kilos, well this is odd, the stepper motor doesn't appear to be losing any steps, and the cycloid isn't slipping, but we still can't lift one point six kilograms. After stripping the gearbox down I found the culprit. The motor attaches to the eccentric cam by pushing into this hole. The flat on the motor matches the flat in the plastic. The 3D print itself must be deforming and slipping on the motor shaft. So back we go into Fusion and we'll add a set screw into the cam. Here we're just making three holes, one for the nut to push into, one for the screw shaft and one to hide the screw head. We can push an M3 nut into the rectangular hole and then the screw will hold the flat on the motor shaft. Now we can check 1.6 kilos again. So it lifts it, but the plastic is just starting to bend. So if we want to lift any more, we'll need a bigger gearbox with more plastic in it. Well, 1.6 kilograms at 30 centimeters is 4.8 newton meters of torque. Double what we got from the belt gearbox I made before. I'm really happy with this result. That should be more than enough to power the arm I want to build. Please subscribe to see progress on the arm design. Click like if you've enjoyed this and drop me a note in the comments if you've any ideas on other uses for this or can think of any changes I could make to it. See you later.